Today we're going to be trying some wow bow. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, today we are trying out wow bow, but not from the actual restaurant, but out of a ghost kitchen. So wow bow uh, originated out of Chicago, and I know they have a lot of their actual restaurants there. I'm not sure what other cities have actual restaurants, but now they're using ghost kitchens. And here in my town, it was out of Fazoli's. And I believe that's what they're using is a lot of different Fazoli's, maybe other kitchens too. Let me know in the comments below if you work at a restaurant and you're using uh, Wow Bao as a ghost kitchen out of your restaurant, which restaurant do you work at? So I picked up six of the Bao and I got one of each. I, well, I didn't get the, they have a, a whole wheat vegetarian or vegetable one. I didn't get that one. So I got the barbecue bao, the beef bao, the teriyaki, cheeseburger, and a couple coconut ones. So here is a look at the DoorDash menu. And I got six, a six pack of the bao, uh, $16.49. Um, they also have, you know, like vegetable bowls with, you know, chicken and rice, pot stickers. So I just went with the, the six pack of bao and the different flavors. You have barbecue Berkshire pork, spicy Mongolian beef, teriyaki chicken, whole wheat vegetable, cheeseburger, and coconut custard. So I got one of each except the whole wheat vegetable. I just passed on that one and got two coconut custards instead. So according to ba Wow Bao's website, what is a bao? It's a soft, fluffy dough filled with savory or sweet flavors and steamed to perfection. All right. So like I said, I got six different ones and I have no idea. They didn't label them, so I don't know which one's which. I guess we will just pull out one at a time. I'm thinking a couple of these should be cold because I don't know if the coconut filled one would be warm or not. All right, so there is a look at the bow. Made popular, I mean, these have been around, I'm sure for quite some time, but Pixar did a short called bow where it comes alive or at least the lady thinks it comes alive and raises it like a kid, and then I think she eventually eats it. So let's cut this open just to see which one we have here. So there is a look at the inside, and I am gonna guess, let me go back to the website, see the different flavors. This is either, let me smell. Hmm. Huh. I'm not 100% sure. This is either Berkshire pork, Mongolian beef. I'm going to say it's probably the Mongolian beef. I think so. It's really good, though. Like a light, fluffy, almost like a big dumpling with that meat in it. These are really, really good. Very doughy. They would probably be better. Like I said, you have to use, you know, like Grubhub or DoorDash, one of those. So by the time you get it, these have been cooked for a while. So it'd probably be a lot better if you got them right at the store. You know, if you had an actual wow bow in your town that you could go there and get them, it'd probably taste a little better. Just because they're getting a little cold and chewy, but it's still really good. All right. And you can see how much you just get a little meat in there. How much of this dough you're eating? Wow, this almost looks almost exactly like the other one. And I got one of each, so they shouldn't be the same. I wish, okay, my bad. They do have them labeled. I didn't see that. I just thought it said Wow Bao on the bottom. So this one says Wow Bao barbecue. So this was the, the Berkshire, the barbecue Berkshire pork was the first one I had. Okay, this one is teriyaki. That is a lot of dough. Not bad. I think I like that, the pork one, the barbecue Berkshire pork one a little better than this. Still not bad. Just gonna take a bite of each because I got a lot of these and this is a lot of dough. It's gonna fill me up really quick. 
Okay, let's see. This is, this is barbecue also. And I should only had one, that's a coconut. That's the cheeseburger. Okay, I think they screwed up my order. Either that or they put the wrong label because I was supposed to get two coconuts. And instead it's saying I have two barbecue. Let's see if this is another barbecue one. And yes, it is. So I don't need to try another one that. Let's try the beef, the Mongolian beef. There's a look at that one. Almost looks like, like a sloppy Joe inside there. And this is the, this is the spicy one. It has some heat to it. It's not really that spicy. It does kind of taste like just a spicy, sloppy Joe. Again, so far, I think my favorite is the Berkshire pork. So let's try the that's the dessert one, I guess. The cheeseburger. I would recommend probably just getting two. Obviously, if you want to try them all. But man, I'm just taking a bite of each. I'm already getting filled up. Because like I said, you get a lot of this. The bow, the, the, the bun, the steam bun or whatever this is. I mean, look how much of that you get. It fills you up quick. All these so far look almost exactly the same inside. This looks just like that last one I had. That actually does taste like a cheeseburger. Not bad. I'm, surpri I'm surprised that it has such a cheesy flavor to it. Like it tastes like a cheeseburger. You need to be really hungry when you eat these. All right, the coconut, what is, it is coconut custard. Okay. There's a look at the coconut custard one. It's a warm coke. I, for some reason in my mind, I just figured this one would be cold, which I think it might be better if it was cooled down. It's like a chunky, grainy coconut custard. Not a big fan of that one. Warm, like I said, I, I think I'll try that later on, cooled down to see how it is. So there you go, the Wow Bao Bao's. You don't get a whole, I mean, it's mostly the, the steamed bun, the dumpling type, the Bao. You're mostly eating that. You're just getting a little bit of filling in there. So those fill you up fast. I mean, that's, like the first one tasted really good. Maybe, and this is the first time I've ever had a Bao. I've never had these types of things before. It was good. As you keep eating them and you get more and more of that that dough, you're just, you get filled up really fast on them. So unless you're really, really hungry, I wouldn't suggest getting six of them. Two would probably be fine. For me, I think the Berkshire pork was the, the best, but then again, you know, as it went on, I was just getting full, so I was losing my appetite, so they probably weren't tasting as good. The spicy one, I would say it's probably either between, the spicy wasn't that spicy, the Berkshire pork or the cheeseburger. The cheeseburger wasn't bad either. I was surprised how much that tastes like an actual cheeseburger. So that was good too. 
that coconut cream one or coconut custard. What was it? Coconut custard? Coconut custard. If you want to, I keep going to look at my monitor, bring up the actual website. Coconut custard, yes. So that one was, like I said, maybe a little better if it's cooled down. I don't really care for like pies and stuff like that warm. I like them cool. So that one probably I'll put in the fridge and see if it tastes a little better. Let me know if you've tried Wow Wow from a ghost kitchen. How does it compare to the actual store? You know, going to the actual restaurant and getting it. Because that's what I'm wondering is, like, this is out of Fazoli's here in my town. Did someone from Wow Wow come here to train the, the staff there how to make this stuff? If you work in a restaurant and you're a ghost kitchen, whether it's for Wow Wow or some other restaurant that you're serving their stuff online and you're they're using your kitchen as a ghost kitchen, how do you get trained on making those new dishes that are coming into your kitchen? Let me know in the comments below if you work in a kitchen and you have a ghost kitchen there too. How does, the, how does that whole process work? So that's what I was just wondering is how well these compare to an actual Wow Wow restaurant dumplings. Let me know in the comments below, have you tried these? Are you interested in trying these? Not bad, I've never had one before. It's something different to have. I, I, I definitely wouldn't get six again. Like I said, it was like, what, $16 and that's a lot. I don't know how well these are gonna taste reheated. If you've ever had them before, how would you reheat them? Do you just put them in the microwave? How do you reheat bows if you can? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time. I mean, look, I still have all, I mean, I only took a bite of like a half of each of these. So I have, you know what, almost one, two, three full bowels, basically, if I put them together left, put them in the fridge for leftovers. Hopefully they reheat somehow. I'll figure it out. I'll see you guys next time.